Hello fairies, happy Tuesday. It's 9.22 right now. I've actually been up for a while just relaxing and watching YouTube videos, but I am getting up now because I want to get out of the house Honestly, y'all, I've been a little stressed lately and in a little bit of a funk. And, like, depending on what I'm going through, I do different things for it. So, like, sometimes I just want to be in bed by myself and not do anything. Other times I cook. Um, other times I would just pray and meditate. And then sometimes I just want to get out of the house so today I'm getting out of the house I'm going to the Japanese tea garden I've been wanting to go there for a while anyway so I'm going to get dressed and head there it's pretty cloudy outside so hopefully it stays this way because it won't be terribly hot out there um, so I'm gonna do that and hopefully I can get my hair to look better than what it's looking like right now. Um, also, if you're watching this, you've probably noticed that I changed my name from Meet Me in Sydney to Chronically Sydney. I did that because since I've decided to base my channel off of me living with a chronic illness, I wanted my name to reflect that. So it's like Meet Me in Sydney is a cute name, but what does that mean? So I feel like chronically Sydney will let people at least know like, oh, she must have something chronic about her life. So chronically Sydney, it is. And actually I need to eat breakfast before I get ready to go. Also y'all, sometimes like I will eat lunch or dinner for breakfast, which is honestly what I think I'm gonna do this morning. Last night I made like Cajun lemon butter salmon with just some rice and some corn. I know that's like a weird mix, but I didn't have any mashed potatoes or broccoli or asparagus or anything that I usually eat with my salmon. I did have Brussels sprouts, but I wasn't in the mood for Brussels sprouts. I kind of wanted rice and corn. So I cooked that last night, and honestly, I think I'm going to eat that for breakfast. And then I will get ready to head out. So y'all, it is, I wanna say almost 11 o'clock now. I am dressed but here's the thing y'all so if you saw part two of my how i was diagnosed with crohn's disease story time i talked in there i talked in that video about how being diagnosed like i'm just really insecure about my body and i feel like i have body dysmorphia and um when I was with, at my friend's house yesterday, she was telling me that someone she went to college with, I think, made a Facebook post about how they have Crohn's disease. And in their post, they were talking about how, you know, like, don't question us about where, about what we're wearing because we're just trying to feel comfortable. And that is so true because like i don't my arms are out right now and i don't like it so i think i'm going to change my shirt so i want a shirt with sleeves and longer because i just i don't feel great right now so and then like also my jeans i feel like are a little they just i don't know i don't like how they feel either and then I tried to put on a dress, but I didn't feel great about the dress either. So I don't know. I'm just gonna, the thing is like, I don't necessarily have cute going out baggy shirts to wear. Like I have tons of baggy shirts that I like sleep in and stuff like that, but none of them are necessarily, oh, I'm gonna wear this to go out of the house and be cute. So 
I don't know what I'm about to do, but I have to figure something out. Like, and then it's like, if I don't figure this out, I'm gonna feel like I don't wanna go anywhere at all. So I'm just going to try to find a shirt to put on and feel better about myself. So as y'all can see, I changed my shirt. I just have on this Bucks volleyball shirt. I was the assistant volleyball coach at my school back home. So not necessarily the cutest, but I feel 10 times better now that I put a, a baggier shirt on. So I'm gonna go ahead, I have business to handle first is what I'm going to do right now and then I'm gonna to head to the Japanese tea garden hopefully it doesn't start raining it's been very cloudy here lately so hopefully it's just cloudy and not an indication um, of rain in the near future so I will see y'all when I make it to the Japanese tea garden Honestly, it was way, way hot out there, so I left. Um, yeah, the sun came out because it was really cloudy, like, all morning. But the sun was out, and it was extremely hot. Like, I was dripping sweat. So now I'm about to get in the shower and also wash my hair because my head feels icky, too. And then I will talk to y'all later. So, y'all, I am out of the shower now also the lighting in my bedroom sucks which is why i don't film in here so actually let me go out to some better lighting maybe even some natural light or something i don't know um 
but I'm out of the shower and I washed my hair. Um, I don't know if I've ever, if I've said this yet, but I did start interlocking my hair. You really can't tell right now because my hair is just a frizzy mess, but I actually prefer to interlock it because I can, I like washing my hair and when you interlock, at least for me, it makes it, I don't want to say better, but easier to wash your hair because you don't have to worry about anything like unraveling or untwisting or anything like that. So um, I'm actually going to do a video on interlocking my hair, but there are actually a few in the front that I still need to interlock. So um, I'll probably come back on here a little later and interlock the ones in the front. And also, I watched tons of videos on interlocking before I did it, and all the videos I watch were like, um, be really careful before you interlock, make sure you know what you're doing, because once you interlock, you, it's impossible to undo it. That is not true. Is it difficult? Yes. Does it require patience? Yes. But is it impossible to undo your interlocks? No. I, I undid several of mine either because they were too tight so i needed to loosen them or i thought i wanted to interlock some of them together and then later on i decided i didn't want to do that so i undid them and the ones that i undid those are the ones that i have to go back in interlock on their own because i did not do that um also y'all you see that i do i am also going to do a lock detox Honestly, I haven't used many products on my hair. When I first started, I only used oil and water, which I'm probably just gonna go back to doing that. I started using products because I was trying to help get rid of this frizz. Um, but honestly, none of it has helped. So I'm gonna do a lock detox and then just stick with oil and water. So I'm gonna do that sometime this week. So I'll do a lock detox and then I'll also make that a lock update because I have not done an update and I'm five months into my journey now. So I will do that sometime this week also. But anyway, I am just going to eat some tuna. I made some tuna yesterday for lunch. I'm gonna have that again today for lunch with some crackers and then I'm gonna watch Handmaid's Tale. Honestly, y'all, I've been watching Handmaid's Tale, Gossip Girl, the original one, and then Sex in the City. I've been watching those three shows and like legit trying to keep up with all three of them at one time, but I'm about to watch one of those shows. I'll probably start with Hands Handmaid's Tale while I eat my tuna. Also, y'all, this is one of those very rare days where it seems like I'm actually going to eat three meals today. Now for breakfast, I did have salmon um, and rice and corn. So it wasn't a traditional breakfast meal, but I did eat breakfast. And right now I'm about to have lunch. And then later for dinner, I'm either going to make pasta or a bootleg vegetarian taco bowl. I don't really know which one I'm in the mood for right now. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So y'all, it's a little after 5 p.m. right now. Um, I was relaxing that whole time. I was watching The Handmaid's Tale and I was playing Animal Crossing. So I decided to go ahead and get up now because one, I'm hungry and two, I wanna go ahead and end this vlog so that I can edit it to upload it. Um, so I'm coming on here right now. Right now I have the, my pasta cooking. I decided to just do pasta with marinara sauce and Parmesan cheese because I'm being lazy. But I'm going to go ahead and show y'all how I interlock. First of all, I need some oil. This is jojoba oil. Honestly, I like jojoba oil because I like the way that it smells. If you follow natural hairstylists on Twitter, or if you watch like my 
I think I talked about it in my natural hair video. Um, natural hairstylists say that oil really doesn't do anything for your hair, but I don't know. I like the smell of jojoba oil. So I put that in my hair. But also y'all, my hair is so frizzy, but I am trusting the journey, trusting the process. Honestly, there's a lot that I want to say about my hair, but I'm gonna wait to say it in my interlocking slash five month update. I feel like I can make this one tighter. Okay, so I do two point interlocking, which which means that I'm gonna interlock my hair in two directions, basically. So what I like to do is, I'm not sure if y'all can really see, but I have like hair right here. So I like to just grab any extra hair that I have and wrap that around my lock. And then we take, this is the interlock tool. I got this from one of my coworkers who interlocks her hair, she let me have this one because she says she has tons of them. So actually, you see all this hair, like there's just so much hair that, I don't know. You know, everyone says like, oh, when you're starting out or when you're going through your process, your hair is gonna be so frizzy. Well, let me tell you, my hair is so frizzy. I still feel like if, I feel like if I try hard enough, I was going to say if I go to a loctician, but I'm one of those people, I don't believe that you need a loctician to have successful dress because your hair is going to lock regardless, to be honest. My hair has um, already started locking and I've started this myself and I have not gone to a loctician yet, so your hair is going to lock regardless, but anyway. I like to fold the end of my hair up so that I can get it through the loop. And then we pull it through. So now it's through the loop. And honestly, this is all you do. Um, you want to well, I'll explain more in my interlocking video. I'm just gonna do this here. So I'm going to put it down and pull it through. And then we're going to do it the other way. And pull it through. So I went ahead and interlocked this front side of my hair. So I know y'all really can't see anything beyond all the frizz, but just look how this side is like flat. See that? And this side is like puffy because of all of my roots just sticking up. So that's also what interlocking does. And I like that as well because it keeps my hair flatter instead of looking puffy like this. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the ones in the front on this side. Also, honestly, this is what, this is what has kept me away from doing hair videos because I don't know how to eliminate any of the frizziness. And I feel like you honestly can't see much through the frizziness. Like you can't see a single part in my head. You can kind of see this one, but I don't know. Like when I actually do the interlocking video, 
I don't know how to make it where my hair looks neater and less, way less frizzier than it is right now. Also just looking at my hair like this, it doesn't even look like any of my hair is locked really, I feel like. Like you have to look close. When I get up close, you can see the budding. So like when I get up close, you can see that this whole part of my hair is locked. And it's really just the end that isn't like this one too. All of that is locked. All of that is locked. But looking at it like this, I feel like you can't really tell that. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do this side of my hair. So y'all, I accidentally interlocked one of them with the other one. So now I have to undo it. And this is what I was talking about earlier when people say that it's impossible to do or that you can't do it. It might be hard to do, but it's not impossible, so. Once again, you can't really see, but these two I accidentally interlocked together, so this is the one I'm trying to undo from this one. Okay, so I was able to get those two from being interlocked together. So, like I said, is it hard? Yes. Does it require patience? Yes, but it's not impossible to do. Now, if you're one of those people who would freak out if you accidentally interlock two locks together or like got some hair tangled up, then just be more careful than I am. Honestly, I kind of don't care that much. So whatever happens, happens, but I mean, not saying I don't care about my locks, cause I do, but I mean like, I don't care about messing up is what I'm saying. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish these now and I will talk to y'all when I'm done. So y'all, I'm done with my hair now and I'm just going to put this marinara and Parmesan cheese in my pasta also i'm not sure how common or uncommon this is but i grew up in a household with my grandma who one knew how to cook and she semi did it for a living also and so like she would cook a meal and she would make enough for everyone to eat and have leftovers, but she herself does not eat leftovers. Even still to this day, she, she will eat them, but she doesn't care to eat them. So she would make a brand new meal every single day. And I've honestly kind of picked up on that because sometimes when I cook, sometimes when I cook, I'll make enough to have for later or the next day or whatever. But sometimes when I cook, I'll only cook enough for me to eat 
like one serving for me to eat right then and there and tomorrow I'll make a new meal I don't know it's not that big of a deal to me I know some people like to meal prep so they don't have to cook every day or some people do like every other day I don't know I don't mind cooking every day if that's what I want to do I know also some people don't like going to the grocery store that often I'm at the grocery store at least a minimum once a week sometimes I will be there a few times a week but that's also another thing that I don't mind doing I guess it's just because that's what I grew up around I don't know but it's like I like my food fresh and if I'm the one cooking it then I can cook a new meal every day if that's what I choose to do and just in case you need the visual this is my dinner it's honestly just pasta marinara sauce a little bit of parmesan cheese and i also put some italian seasoning in there just to give it a little more flavor but this is it so y'all like i said i am going to eat this and this will be my dinner for tonight and i'm also going to go ahead and end the vlog here so i can eat and then edit for this vlog to go up tomorrow i'm going to try a morning time usually i've been posting in the afternoon but i'm gonna post this one in the morning and see how that goes um so yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed this daily vlog. I am daily vlogging for the rest of the week, I believe, unless something happens. But so far, I plan to daily vlog for the rest of the week. So I hope you all enjoy this video and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye fairies.